Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 2. This video presentation is going to be on Proposition 14 of Book 2, which gives us the methods required to take any straight angled figure and to construct a square that is equal in area. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to copy our figure to a rectangle using the methods described in Proposition 45. So it's kind of long, there's a lot of steps required. I recommend you look at this Proposition 45 if you want to follow what was done. So now we have a rectangle that is equal to our original figure, at least in area. Now if BE doesn't equal ED, then it's not a square. So we must extend our line BE to the point F such that this line EF is equal to ED. Now we bisect BF at point G, draw a circle with G as the center, GF being the radius, extend the line DE up to point H where it intersects our circle, and draw a line from the center of BF to H. Draw our square on EH, and now the area of this square is equal to the area of our original polygon. Now how do we prove that this is actually true? So by definition, the area of this polygon is equal to our rectangle because we constructed that, it that way. And again, if you don't understand how that was done or if you've forgotten, you can always go back and look at Proposition 45 from Book 1. So this area is equal to that area. Now we have a line segment, BF, that's divided at point G and at another point, E. Now again, from Proposition 5 of this book, or of Book 2, we will have this equality, which I will not elaborate on. Again, you can go back and look at Proposition 5 of Book 2. So we have BE times EF, which by the way is this rectangle here, plus EG squared is equal to G of F, all squared. Looking at our triangle, our little pink triangle here, we have the GH squared, which is also equal to GF squared because they are the same length. According to Pythagoras, GF squared or GH squared is equal to HE squared, plus GE squared. So we have GF squared is equal to this. We also have GF squared is equal to that. So we have two equalities, which means these two, the two sides of the equations are also equal. So we end up with BE times EF plus EG squared equals EG squared plus EH squared. So if we subtract EG squared from both sides of the equation, we end up with BE times EF is equal to EH. Well, BE times EF is equal to the rectangle BD, and EH squared is equal to this square here. So we end up with our original polygon A is equal to the rectangle BD, which is equal to EH squared. And thus we have constructed our square that's equal in area to our original polygon. And that concludes all the propositions in Book 2. The propositions of Book 3 will be coming soon.